Running stitches are the easiest stitch to sew. First, we're going to sew a couple of stitches on the same place to anchor the thread like this. And uh, I just remembered that I should use thimbles. I'm very bad at that, so I'm trying to learn to use them properly, but it's good to use them. Running stitches, you just sew down and up, down and up as many times as you can on the needle and then pull the thread. So down and up, down and up, down and up and pull. And that's so easy it is to make running stitches. Running stitches are not the sturdiest stitch that you can sew, but they are quite useful for when you are basting and sewing two fabrics together and you want to remove the thread again because you just have to pull it out. And if you're going to base it, you don't even have to anchor the thread like I did in the beginning. Keep on sewing as many times up and down as you can and then pull the thread. Down, up down, up, down, up, and pull. Down, up, down, up, down, up, and pull. And then I'm going to anchor the thread in the end as well by pulling the needle through the loop before I pulled it, and then pull it afterwards. And I do that a couple of times to make sure the thread is anchored well. Running stitches look the same on the back as on the front. Good luck! Back stitches are also an easy way to sew that is much sturdier than the running stitch. But like with the running stitch, I'm going to anchor my thread by making a few stitches over each other. For the back stitch, you go back and then put your needle out a little bit in the front. You go back and put it out a little bit in the front again. Back. And to the front. This gives you a stitch that uh, looks quite a lot like a machine stitch on the front. But uh, it will have long threads on the back. But each stitch locks itself, so if one of the stitches breaks, it will stop at the next stitch and not keep on unraveling like a running stitch can do. Just to show you how it looks. On the back side I'm going to stop now soon and uh, you see that it looks like stem stitch on the back side so just to try it out we turn our sewing around and do stem stitches it's an embroidery stitch that you make by going front and back Put it down a bit in the front and go back. 
and you get these threads that lie side to side. It makes a smooth line when you're making embroideries. So will this look like we have made back stitches on the front side? Well, let's see. A little crooked in the beginning, but then it looks rather the same. So if you don't like back stitch, try stem stitch. And now we're going to do spaced back stitches. So you do the same. You go back, but just over a thread or two and a bit or two to the front. Back over a thread or two and to the front. Back over a thread or two and to the front. And that will only make a little dot on the fabric. So the seam will be almost invisible. Like you see, you have orange thread to this unbleached linen and it uh, hardly see you can hardly see the stitches. But on the back side, it will look like runny stitches. So to remind you how you do the back stitch, you go back and a little to the front. Go back and to the front, back and to the front and continue until you have either reached your seam, end or run out of thread. I'm running out of thread. So this is another way I use to anchor my threads in the end. I go to the back and I sew around the seam I just made. And that will anchor the thread and not make a bulge like if you do a knot. So here we have back stitch, spaced back stitches, stem stitches, and back stitch. Good luck. Running back stitch is a way to compa combine the running stitch and the back stitch. So here I'm going to anchor the thread with a few stitches. And then I start by doing some running stitches, as many as I can take on the needle, pull the thread and then take a back stitch and then Continue with running stitches, pull and continue with the back stitch, running stitches, this way you get the speed and ease of the running stitches and the security of the back stitch in one seam because if it unravels it will only unravel until the back stitch that will hold the seam in place so you can mend it easier and this seam is good to use on long seams like in the sides of skirts because it will not take that much time to do and you get the security of the locking back stitch. And now I'm just going to secure the thread with a couple of stitches into the loop. That will also lock the thread in place. And on the back side, 
you will see that it looks quite a lot like the running stitch with just a little longer stitches in between. Good luck! Slanted running stitch is not exactly a running stitch but uh, it's a simple way like you go up and down in the fabric and uh, you sew them like a V shape, a triangle shape. So you get uh, the two legs of the triangle, one on the front and one on the back. And these stitches are good to have when you're basting because when you're sewing two pieces of fabric together, you don't want them to move and uh, this stitch makes the fabric have more traction because the stitches take a, long, a larger space of the fabric. And uh, since they are like a running stitch, not locked, they are easy to remove even though it doesn't look like that right now when I got stuck when I was sewing. This stitch is also good if you have a place that uh, you need to have two pieces of the fabric stay together and uh, it doesn't matter how the stitches look because they're not seen, that will make it quite sturdy. So now I have reached the end of my thread, so I anchor it and uh, on the back side it looks like they are very straight. I tried to make the V-shapes, so better luck for you. <laughs>